Coming up, I'm gonna show you a really cool visual learning app that is making over $500,000 a month. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com, the place you go when you want action fat content related to helping you grow your app downloads and your revenues. And today I wanna to really highlight an app that I found through the app stores, really cool app. It's an app that if you're familiar with Blinkist, where they summarize some of the top selling nonfiction books, this is similar to that, but in a more visual format versus an audio format like Blinkist. Now Blinkist, you can actually read through this, but this is more like infographic oriented. So let's take a look at the app and I'll go through some of the tools that we use to do market research. The app is called Lucid. It's Learn Visually. It's an app that actually recently launched and we can take a peek here. So it was launched in 2020. So the beginning of 2020, really, literally like right before the pandemic, it launched. So that's why I wanted to highlight this app because it's fairly new in the space, right? It's making $500,000 a month in August of 2022, over 100,000 downloads. And it's really cool. And what I really like about it too is we've seen the success of Blinkist. They're doing lots of revenues, like millions of dollars a month. And this is a, a better take or not a better take, but instead of just like coming out with a Blinkist competitor, they sort of spun it. So if you see different apps that are really taking off, think about rather than trying to copy the same type of functionality, how you can spin it to something different, just like Lucid has done. Now I'm in sensor tower again, still. So you can see the top countries, US, Great Britain, Germany. I'm gonna assume most of the countries, most of the revenues are probably coming from the US. They are advertising and for an app like this, people just are not searching for it. And Blinkist had the same problem. And we've done some YouTube videos with Blinkist actually, and I'll link that into the YouTube description so you guys can check it out. But they, they have that similar problem. Nobody's actually searching for this type of app. And so if that's the case for you, like how do you go about marketing an app like this where nobody's really searching for like learn visually here, right? So I'll break it down a little bit more for you. So if you look at the Facebook ads library, you can see if you search for Lucid here, you can see they're running some Facebook ads, right? And I really like the messaging that they have here as well. Ryan Lucid user said, I usually fall asleep reading, but I can barely put Lucid down. Visual insights from top nonfiction books. Super clear. They're using videos, videos, videos here, influencers. So really interesting what they're doing. For an app like this, you're going to have to really rely on some of your paid UA campaigns. I also like using mobile action. You can go into the search ads tab and you can search by any app or any keyword in terms of are they running search ads, Apple search ads, and you can see by impression share or popularity. So it's an interesting way to do market research on some of your competitors. Where are they advertising? What are they doing? You can see by impression share. Let's take a quick peek at that. Whoops. The other way, please. Micro books, not that much traffic, real world. I don't know what that is, but that's interesting. They're, they're showing, they're bidding on this. They're getting hundred percent impression share and then keyword popularity is 25. So not too bad. Spark notes competitor. Now within Apple search ads, we found that going after some of your competitor keywords, they really do convert well. And so if you are in a similar category where people are not specifically searching for the type of app you have, think about competitors or similar apps and bidding on their terms on Apple search ads. We've actually seen that be really effective in terms of driving downloads and revenues, obviously, and low cost downloads actually as well. So really cool there. That's just some of the market research piece I want to get into. And then let's take a quick look at the app itself. All right here's the app. They're bidding on their own term. It's a good job. I love the screenshots, by the way, too. All right, I'm going to hit open. I really love this onboarding. So with every onboarding, that first screen, you want to remind people what the app does. So the most, the world's most important knowledge, visualize. I love it. Learn visually. Philosophy, read faster. And then get started. Okay. What's your name? So I love this. Steve. Hi, Steve. Answer a few questions. What's my age? Podcasts, audiobooks, videos, business, psychology, more design and economics. Now, here's where I'm going to stop. I love that they're 
interspersing these testimonials throughout these questionnaires. And you're going to see that as I go. Okay. Also love this. This is, I've heard that it's called a yes ladder. Now, if you've ever attended any webinars where people are trying to sell you a big course at the end of it, guilty, then they like at the end of the webinar, they usually like to do what they call a yes ladder or what I just called getting you to say yes. So that when the paywall comes and when they hit you with an offer, you're already in the mindset of yes, saying yes. So when I read books, sometimes I wish I remember them better. Most likely yes. I wish I spent most less time on social media. Probably a yes. I wish I had more time to read more books. Yes. And then again, another quote. Must speed through these real quick. So meditation. I love how they're trying to get Intel from the users too. And then I'm going to be quick. Enable notifications. Let's see the business. Love the animation here. Makes it feel like it's a little more sophisticated, like it's a well done app, right? Here's the experience. Cool. Again, some more social proof. The 13,000 total ratings. Really cool how they've done that. Then boom, they hit you with an offer. Now you can see all plans here. So it looks like the yearly only comes with the one week. And if I do monthly, it doesn't come with a, a, a trial. X out. And this is what Blinkist does really well. So thank you, Blinkist, for testing this, how your free trial works. The other thing I want to lastly mention is a lot of the content that you see here. I'm going to try to pick one. So this is a great book, Essentialism. You can read the first chapter for free, but everything else is locked. So something to consider within your apps, maybe giving away a little piece of content and so that people can use your app a little bit and then locking the rest. So really interesting here. So here you can lock. Let's go through this real quick, just so you guys can see. I'm gonna go through really fast here. Really cool visuals, right? I like it. I'm a visual learner, so I need this type of stuff. So I'm gonna go through this. I like that to do a recap, so really cool. And then done, next chapter, hit him with the paywall. I think that's a great way of doing it, right? Next chapter. Paywall time. Hit X, hit X. Cool. Now, what I always like to do when I'm downloading apps and checking out apps is go in for the second time. I want to see what that second time user experience is. Sometimes here, what I would recommend to Lucid is show the promotion, either have a promotion or show the paywall. We have stats that say like showing the paywall every time you open the app actually increases conversions. So if you want to be that aggressive, show the paywall on every app open. The other thing I would add is after that first chapter is done, maybe ask for that review, the app store review. Like people, you probably got them at a good state of mind. So they're more likely to leave that five-star review. So if I were Lucid, that's some of the changes I would make within the app itself. All right, that's it. Really cool app, as you can see, visually appealing. Great content within the app itself. I love how they took the Blinkist model and just sort of reskinned it in a way, but remorphed the idea, the essential idea of being able to learn the key topics, the key insights of any popular nonfiction books into a visual form. So great way rather than there's a lot of these different apps that are very similar to Blinkist, but they took a different route and I love that they did that. So congrats Lucid, really love the app. So check out the app Lucid. All the links are in the YouTube description or your favorite podcast app and I'll see you on the next video.